In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an HDRI background environment. HDRIs are a great way to add a photosphere effect, and an HDRI actually has different exposure levels, so the reflections really add to the render of your scene. So right here I have a simple cube, and what I'm going to do is tab into edit mode, and then I'm going to press Command or Control B to bevel on the edges, and then I'm just going to increase the bevel edges. That way my cube looks a little bit more interesting. Then I'm going to right click Shade Smooth. Then in the Material Properties I have the Base Material, and I'm going to increase the Metallic all the way up, and then lower the Roughness. Notice we don't notice anything, but if I click on Material Preview, now I have this shiny cube that is reflecting the background. But this is the default background in Blender. And you can change these backgrounds by clicking this arrow and then in this HDRI here, and then I can change it to different ones. But what if I want to see an HDRI that's custom? So something that I have or something that I've downloaded. So in order to get our own HDRI, we need to click on the world tab here. So in the world, we have the surface as the background, but the color is just this gray color. And of course, we can change the color. And if we do that, it'll change. And if we look at our render view, you'll notice now we have this world that is all green, which is fine, but I don't want a green world. So I'm going to click on this yellow box right here, and then I'm going to click on environment texture. Blender always uses this hot pink magenta to show that there's no texture. So what I need to do is click open, then I'm going to go get my environment texture. Here I have Aloe Farm Shade House HDRI. I got this from Polyhaven. You can get lots of things from Polyhaven. This is by Dimitrio Sava and Jared Guest. It's re released under a Creative Commons Zero license. So they have lots of HDRIs that you can use in your projects. Once I click Open Image, then you can see that the image is in the background and now it's reflecting on the cube. And then I can scale the cube however I want in the image and everything works great. And notice that right now I'm in the Eevee render engine. So even though Eevee doesn't do a great job on reflections, it can do this by reflecting that texture from the background. So this is a great thing to use on Eevee to make metallic objects just look a lot better. Hopefully now you can add HDRI images to your Blender files so you can have cooler reflections and then even use them in the background if you want to use them for a render. Happy 3D modeling.